Okay, this is part four. Um, simply stating this is going to be a, for lack of a better word, a speed run of how I set up my system when I'm going to go into an LED wall room. So, for starters, I've created a blank slate. Right now it's just 1920-1080. Um, I'm going to turn my little video up a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and we're going to start from, I say reverse. Uh, I like looking at smart. We're going to see what we're going to do. And then we're going to put it into action. Okay, starting off, this is the LED wall that we've been given a task to create. We have three, I'm going to call them stalactites or columns on stage right, and copy and mirror to stage left. We then have a flown 5x8 wall up above, and then a 2x8 facade. Now, I'm going to take this, and we're going to just pop this into smart real quick. I'm going to create this as nice as I can. Seven, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, and five. Lovely. All right. Again, this is going to be certainly more of a speed run style. I like getting this disconnected. I'm going to make this large. Ooh, way too big. Silly me. All right. We'll do 10 and 10. And we're going to disconnect. Okay. Right off the bat, we're going to have three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lovely. You'll notice I'm. it is important to take into consideration what is being used, where. So right now we're on, you see I highlighted. Okay. We are... Five by eight. One, two, three, four, Um, I, sh I could have uh, simply made the five wall behind um, and just duplicated. Right now we have our three columns. We have our one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're on 10. We're not sure how far away these columns are from each other. So we're going to do independent lines. We have 16 outputs. I'm using a Novastar 4K. Okay, look at that. So now we have our 1, 2, 3. All right, lovely. That's what we got. So this is what it's going to look like in real life. This is our Novastar processor. So it sees those lines. Everything's buttered up nice and tight. Cool. As we'd send this, we'd be able to also just highlight these and we can test our lines. We can adjust our color. But right now, that's what I know I need. So I'm going to push this aside. Uh, we're going to go to our composition and we're going to adjust the settings. We're going to call this comp super wall RTH. And this is six columns and large. Again, I'm a big fan of just making this a 4K flying. Okay, we're going to start here from scratch. It always does a DJ. It's a, it holds on to your last known screen. So we can either create a new one, right? Delete the old one. So I'm going to create this first. I'm just going to create these three columns. Um, and start my way into the right. Uh, 7 times 176. Look at that. Our width is 1 
times 176, which should just be 176. Copy, I'm gonna paste this over, paste this over. Now I'm going to create a new slice. Width is gonna be eight times 176. Our height is five times 176. Okay, boom. New slice, height two times 176. Our width, 176 times eight. Again, that's our under wall. Lovely. We're gonna copy those. Paste those three. Look at that. Our outports transformation, you'll notice everything's just a big big old blob. We're going to right click and match input shape onto all of these. This is even though I made my input shape match right so that eventually becomes this <laughs> which is how nova star sees it we want i keep calling it nova star it's nova star we're using smart though to to process this is what the processor wants to see and we've done that here lovely okay let's get these out now that's not really how i'm going to do this here so we're going to we're going to make some adjustments okay and we're going to add some different colors here All right, so our LED wall is this. Our columns currently are all on the same layer, meaning if I grab, which is all I wanted to do, lasers. Okay, let's adjust that a little bit. Rhyme wobble, maybe. There you go. Now our columns all do this. Great, great, great. Okay, all of these things are doing different stuff and it's based on here. Now, everything's starting off in the middle. So while yes, if suddenly I wanted everything to do the same landscape, right? If I wanted everything to do the same thing, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be near the same area which is why some of these are lining up okay you'll notice it but actually what I want to do is also reposition this I want that slice in the center I want that slice in the center these are a little bit different I want these columns to maybe be off just far enough so that if I do have something the same it isn't obstructive. Okay, look at that. 
Right now I have all my layers ready to go. They're exactly what I want them to be. I can test this. I'm going to go and save my arena. I'm going to save my composition. We're saved and now I can go in and edit. I can see, okay, cool. We, we have these in certain areas. Again, if I wanted to position these differently, I can't change the output transformation, right? That is what the Nova Star sees. I need to change this. So if I, for some reason, wanted to space these out on the far side, okay? Notice this stage right or the left side of my screen. These are right in line. These will show separation. I can, I can fake that. I can go, okay, they're about... Our math right now is how far is this hole? Well, if this is one tile wide and they're two tiles apart, we can move two tiles apart. Two tiles apart. And now we can see that they have, we've, we've mapped. That's what we've done now. We've been able to actually map. We can, we can measure this and we can pretend there's a tile in place and create borders and spaces. Or we can say, oh, this one's actually downstage a bit. This one is too. You know, what, what does that look like now? Very neat. Um, this is my speed run of how to just simply get a whole bunch of stuff up right now. Um, in the next video tutorial, I want to go over how we can do what we just did, then create a giant, say we have one video that plays across everything. What if I wanted this sparkle effect to go everywhere? Because right now, the sparkle effect is in layer one. And if I copy that and I paste it in column four, yes, they're all getting it, but look at that. It's getting it should be centered, right? That'd be it'd be it, it's almost like this needs to be up higher and this down lower. Cool. But we can't do that every time we have new media. So next tutorial we'll go over how to create a, a general group that allows the whole thing to play across the whole wall. Thank you.